Stephanie here from STEAM Design Lab with part two of our paper catapult design project. In the first video, I showed you how to roll two different types of paper tubes. We ended up with the pieces shown here. I still need to show you how to contour the end, so that's what we'll do next. You're going to start with your tube and a hard plastic marker. Simply hold the tube in your hand with your thumb on top so you can apply a lot of pressure. And then press the tube onto the Sharpie, rocking it back and forth. I'm doing another tube, and I'm contouring both ends on this one. Notice how I make sure the direction of the contour is going in the same direction as the new one I'm applying to the other end. The reason I'm contouring the ends of these tubes is to make them fit a little bit better. This will give you a stronger bond and all the dimensions in this video are assuming that you contour the ends. If you're using hot glue like I do in the video, it's not absolutely necessary because hot glue can fill some pretty big gaps. Again, this is showing you which pieces need to be contoured if you are planning on doing that. And this should give you an idea of how all those pieces will come together. Start by gluing your T-shaped throwing arm. I have my two pieces of double layer tube. The two inch has a half size tube inside it. And the six inch has a full size tube inside it. I'm only gluing the outer tubes together here. The inner tube should be free to move. Now we're gonna lay out the other three pieces of the base. I'm gluing the two center pieces to the two end pieces. The two center pieces have the contoured ends. These are all four and a quarter inch half tubes. Be sure to give your glue a chance to dry or cool in between each step. Now I'll be gluing in my two vertical supports. Each one of these is a half tube with one contoured side. Notice how I'm gluing them on the side with the T-shaped throwing arm. Since my rubber bands are pretty small, I need to attach two of them together so that it makes a good size rubber band for my catapult. Now I'm just folding my rubber band in half and sliding the two loops over the smallest piece of tube, my three and a half inch tube. Then I'm sliding the other end where the knot is over my throwing arm. Then I just need to glue the two ends to my upright supports. You'll want to add extra glue anywhere you find gaps as you go along and build this. Next I'm adding my two diagonal supports. Just add a bit of glue to the top and the bottom. Notice how they're not sitting directly on the corner, but just inside. A lot easier to glue them onto the side of a round tube than it is to try to get them into the exact corner where there's two other tubes coming together. As a final step, I'm pulling the little tube out of my throwing arm just so I can glue on my bottle cap. The slide out arm serves two purposes. First, it helps to stiffen the catapult arm, which takes a lot of load when you're shooting your marshmallows. Second, it gives you a little bit of adjustability, but you will need to add a little piece of tape to hold this in place before you shoot your marshmallows. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Happy innovating.